Okay, so here they are, the Harbor Freight Shrinker and Stretcher. They got little jaws that move around. Maybe some of you guys have them. But anyway, I'm gonna try to adapt this to an Arbor Press and make it a little more functional. Okay, so here are the teeth. Just took one apart. This will be the trick. How to get this thing to open a lot more. Okay, so the trick is is to split this thing and mount the top jaw onto this type of Arbor Press. I think you get these Harbor Freight for like 70 bucks or something. Um, so I'll show you, figure out how to do that in a second here. Okay, so I just cut the jaw in half. This is the lower part. I guess that's, that's kind of the anvil part. And the teeth go on top of it. And there's, they got a little spring in here. They, they come apart like that. Anyway, the idea is to somehow put this on the bottom, box this in a little bit, and uh, find a way to mount this. Maybe it'll go, maybe it'll go this way get a little more back clearance. Okay, so I think I've got it figured out. Um, this is the piece I cut in half. The Here are the jaws. There's a little spring in here that spreads apart. This helps lift it up and down. Got a piece of little angle. I cut it, I cut it an inch from here to there and the same thing on the other side. This fits in tightly here. This goes into the jaw. And then this will sit in here like that. And now I just gotta weld it all together. And this will go onto that. I'm gonna weld it with the bottom lifted up a little bit so it has, so this can separate and crush. It'll get shorter that way. So I think I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm only gonna weld it um, I'm going to weld the box to this and this is going to get welded to the back of that. So I'll probably weld this first and then drop the box on it and hit it from this way. Anyway, I, I think it's going to work. Okay. So a quick correction, this, this thing here, the whole thing needs to move the jaw, jaws back and forth. And so, um, I'm going to cut this thing in here and this is going to get welded into that. And so this whole thing will be able to move. And so this needs to get welded to that. And then this gets welded to the, the chrome like jaw retainer. I'll cut this real quick and put that in there. Okay, so I welded off that back thing and the inside parts are able to move through it and expand. And so now I'll be able to put this on here, weld this thing together, and that's gonna be the moving part that goes on to that one inch part of the, uh, this upside down. That's going to be the part that goes on the um, Arbor Press. Okay, I just spent a little bit more time on some of these pieces here. This wasn't quite going together as smoothly. I straightened this thing out so it wouldn't fight going either way on the bolt. Um, so anyway, it goes together like this. I've got little notches. If you can see it, I've got little notches cut in this uh, angle iron. So that gets into that. And then this drops in there like that. And these two are gonna get welded together right now. And I think that's the top part. Okay, one more little thing, since I'm kind of doing this live. I need to make this little thing to pull the uh, like the cup back up. 
So likewise, you have to make a little notch for it. Anyway, let's see if this is it. Okay, this is uh, what I did for now. Maybe a slot with a screw or a bolt so it has a little more articulation might be better, but I'm a little short on time today. So we'll see if this works. Okay, so the bottom bracket, I just kind of hammered over some two inch flat bar. Just trying to, before I weld it, make sure the jaws align. And so this I think is gonna be pretty cool. So I'm gonna line that. In the future, I could probably tap, you know, and put some bolts in here. I'll probably just clamp it or just see if it just sits there for now. It's pretty tight. Just uh, try to get this aligned correctly. Okay, it's two little tacks right here. Maybe I'll run some test metal through it. Okay, so this is pretty cool. It wasn't quite in the right position, so I took this little collar off and I was able to rotate this thing left. It's got little teeth on it that go onto those. So now I have my downward force and I'm gonna try this again. Okay, last revision. I was just able to bend these over and that is a better travel limiter. Almost there. Okay, well this is the cheater bar I'm using and I've just got this thing clamped to my welding table. So it moves around a little bit, but um, you can see it is working. So I think I want to try this on a stronger table with some lag bolts and really well on this thing. And I think it's going to do what it's supposed to do. So thank you.